Hey guys, it's Scott with Scotty B Cards, and in this video, I want to look at the flagship releases that have the best rookies from the last 15 years or so. Every once in a while, Tops will release a set that is just so good. And that's usually because of a really good rookie class and a really good rookie checklist in any given flagship set. Flagship is Top Series 1, Top Series 2, and Tops Update. Generally, that's looked at as the true set of the year. Since 1952 all the way until now, Flagship has been a very important part, and a lot of the iconic cards have come from this set. Not every good card comes from this set, but a lot of the great ones have come from this set. In Tops Flagship, you usually see a lot of players dispersed over the full year, but every once in a while, like in 2011 Tops Update, all of the good rookies besides maybe one or two are all in the same set. We see that with Mike Trout. We see that with Jose Altuve. We see that with Paul Goldschmidt, Charlie Blackman, J.D. Martinez, Anthony Rizzo, and many, many more. That type of thing is awesome. And those type of sets that have this hold up really well long term. So I want to show the best sets from the last 15 or so years and why they're so great. One thing I do want to say is that this Thursday at 8.30 p.m. I am going to be giving away boxes from this video to you. I'm going to be opening up packs and randomly assigning people who are in the audience watching the video packs on whatnot. So if you want a chance to win a free pack of 2014 Tops Update, all you have to do is be on the live stream and I could randomly select you. And the good thing is when you sign up with a whatnot account through the link in my description, which is my affiliate link, you will get $15 to spend on whatever you would like on whatnot. And whenever you make a purchase, I will be given $25 and I will be giving all of that money to Christmas Cards for Kids. Christmas Cards for Kids is where I'll be taking any money I make from this partnership on affiliate programs and I'll actually be buying cards for kids this Christmas who can afford them or just don't have a lot of money to buy hobby boxes. My goal is to spread the hobby to kids who just might not have had the opportunity in the past because I was lucky to be in the hobby from opportunities like this from people getting me into the hobby and I want to help kids as well. Whatnot is also sponsoring this video in the sense that they are the ones that are allowing this to happen. So when I break down all of these different products, I just want to say thank you for Whatnot for helping me make this happen for you and for Christmas cards for kids. If you are unfamiliar with Whatnot, Whatnot is a live breaking and streaming platform where you can buy singles, you you could actually have breaks live on for Pokemon cards, trading cards, basketball, sports cards, whatever you want to do, it is there. On top of that, Whatnot is for most collectibles, just like shoes, watches, anything else that you can geek out over, Whatnot does have that on their platform. So I would recommend, again, if you want to sign up and check Whatnot out, you can do so with my affiliate link where you'll get $15 for free and I will get $25 for Christmas cards for kids where I can help kids this Christmas. Okay, let's jump into this. So how the voting worked for this list. It's hard to always quantify everything when players made their debut 20 years ago and other players are still playing. But I did a few different things. I weighted it with three different factors. The first one is war from the top five rookies of that list. So we can look at 2011 Tops Update. You have Mike Trout, Jose Altuve, Paul Goldschmidt, Anthony Rizzo, and J.D. Martinez. So that's the top five rookies. I looked at their total war and that's worth 30% of the overall assigned score. Then you have the top three MVP appearances between those top five rookies. So between Mike Trout, he has six himself. That adds to the total of top three MVP appearances appearances, which is a 30% weight. This just shows war, a, a stat some people don't like, plus a traditional stat like MVP appearances, as well set potential. This is my own description if the set is going to be a good set long term. My goal with set potential is just to show if I believe a set has not just a good rookie or two in there, but if it could be a set that people are chasing years and years down the road. So one thing I do want to say that's going to be confusing at first, but you'll understand why, is I've included players with a rookie debut in this checklist, just because across years and different time eras of what what Topps flagship is. If any player has a rookie with a rookie logo on it, I am including them in the top five players. So generally Manny Machado has his true flagship rookie, you could argue in 2013 Top Series 1, but he has a rookie debut in a sense, it's an all-star game rookie card in 2013 Topps Update, and so I included him in the war totals as well. Okay, let's jump into it. 2019 Topps Update. This set is surprisingly strong, and I know that might not surprise everybody, but you have a great list of like Pete Alonso, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Austin Riley has his true rookie here, same with Vlad. Then you have Will Smith, and Luis Arise. I know this is six cards. Luis Arise 10 war is not included, but he was just like 0.1 or 0.2 behind Will Smith. So I wanted to include him to show that there is a batting title in Luis Arise. Total war between these players so far is 64. That is ninth on the list, dead last currently, but you know, they're young. They have a lot of time to make that up. And this is the most recent set on this list. Top three MVP appearances, you have three of them, and that's between Vlad and two with Top Tees. So it's actually pretty strong to have top three MVP appearances. That ranks seventh on this list. So that's better than two other sets on this list. 
list and the set potential. It's a great set. I think it's one of the better sets we've seen in the last 15 years, but it's definitely dead last on this list, which is why it is number nine between those three ratings. We are opening up a box of tops update on the live stream. That live stream is going to be on Thursday. That is December 15th at 8 30 p.m. Eastern time. Feel free to join in so you can see if you can get a free pack of 2019 tops update and chase a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. short print with me. Then we have 2015 Tops Update. This set is also surprisingly good. You have Carlos Correa, Francisco Lindor, JT Romuto, and Bayern Buxton with their true flagship rookie cards, as well as a rookie debut of Chris Bryant. There's also other rookies in this. I think Edwin Diaz is in here, and he's turning out to be one of the better closers of our generation. So it's a really strong set. 155 war between these five players. That's sixth on the list. They've only had one MVP appearance in the top three, which is crazy. And that was Chris Bryant winning in 2016. That's really surprising to me with how good these two players in particular have been. That is dead last on this list. And on top of that, I do think the set has potential. Obviously it wouldn't be on this video if I didn't think it had potential, but because the MVP rank was so low and the war rank is okay, that's why it's where it's at at number eight. One thing I do want to note, there's no rookie logo on this JT Romuto card. He does not have any top rookie cards at all. <laughs> and so this is his first tops appearance. So I think it's fair to say they just probably forgot the rookie logo and this should be a rookie card. Then we have 2005 top series two. At any day, I can show Billy Butler as a top set right here. Billy Butler is a good family friend of mine, which is why I've always collected his cards and probably why I've talked about him on the channel if you didn't know. But this set is carried because of Justin Verlander, 188 war. And then you have Ian Kinzer actually has about 50 to 55 war. Really great haul of very good player. You have Michael Bourne and then you have Andre Ethier with Billy Butler as well. These five combined for that total war of 188, which is fifth on the list. Only one top three MVP appearance and that was Verlander when he won the MVP award, which is eighth on this list. Set potential it is going to be sixth. I think because it is so top top heavy, it's going to be hard for this set to be as good as say a 2011 tops update. And at number six, we have 2017 tops update on this list. You have Aaron Judge, Matt Chapman, Alex Bregan, Cody Bellinger, and Dansby Swanson. A couple of these are rookie debuts from these three, but you have true rookies of Matt Chapman and Cody Bellinger. This Aaron Judge is very popular because it's a great image. I think people really like that card. Total war of 127, which is seventh on the list. Top three MVP appearance, there's four of them. I believe two from Aaron Judge, one from Cody Bellinger, and one from Bregman, which is tied for fifth. If there is a tie between different years, having four for 2017 tops update and four for a different set on this list. I took the liberty of just picking whichever one had the higher war to have the tiebreaker. So that's fifth on the list and set potential is a seven. The reason I think this is a solid set is just because of the fact that there are short prints of all of these rookies and Aaron Judge short prints for his rookie cards are always valuable, especially from a Topps flagship set. And the great news is we are opening up a 2017 Topps update hobby box looking for those Aaron Judge short prints. Hopefully we can pull one or two of our super short or something crazy out of this box or a black parallel of Aaron Judge numbered I think like 60 seven and hopefully that can become one of yours in your own personal collection again that's just gonna be randomly assigned out if you're in the chat so please come hop in please be a part of it I want to make sure my audience you guys who've always supported my channel are getting these free packs because I did this all literally for you guys at number five we have 2018 tops update in this set we have Shohei Otani, Han Soto, Ron Cunha Jr., Shane Bieber, and Ozzy Albies surprisingly Ozzy Albies has more war than Glaber Torres maybe not surprisingly to you guys but I figured Glaber Torres would be on this list but he's just not that shows how strong Strong this list has been. 96 war between these five players. That is eighth. And even though that is eighth, I think this potential is extremely high, which is why I have it third in all of the tops releases of the last 15 to 18 years. But they do have three MVP appearances in the top three. That one was by Juan Soto, two were by Otani when he actually won one of them, which is sixth on this list. But the set potential is so strong. I know it's early, but I do think a couple of these players will be Hall of Famers. I'll have to see who it ends up being, whether it's one or three of them between these three in my eyes, but we'll see what happens but either way 2018 tops update great set fantastic and then we're actually opening up three blaster boxes of 2018 tops update that's 30 packs of tops update we're going to be giving those away to you guys so please come join so my audience you can enjoy those number four we have 2014 tops update in this set we have Mookie Betts Jacob deGrom George Springer Jose Abreu and Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin Kiermeyer might surprise you he has 32 war up to this point in his career because he's playing a premier position about league average as a bat but he has one of the best gloves we've seen as a center fielder in a very long time so that's why he's so high. Obviously, he's going to be hitting the later part of his career, so that won't get much higher. He's had a great career, and that's why this list has 198 total war between these five. That is fourth on the list. There's actually four top three MVP appearances, three by Mookie Betts, and one by Jose Abreu when he won the MVP award in 2020.
Conti, that is fourth on the list, and the set potential I have it as the fourth best. I have it behind 2018 Tops Update, which is controversial, but the reason for that is just because this is basically Mookie and DeGrom, and if DeGrom doesn't have a great next few years in Texas, I think it's basically just Mookie. So we'll have to figure out if DeGrom can be the guy we all know he can be, if he can just stay healthy. And we're actually opening up, this is what I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to open up a 2014 Tops Update Hobby Box. These packs for Hobby Packs are usually like 20 to $30 each individually, and those will be given to you for free or sold just a few of them for only $1. So buy it now will be thrown in there randomly and a few of them will be bought for one buck. And that's the best part about this is you can pull a Mookie Betts black parallel number to 64, 63, one of the two. And if you do, I know a buyer who might be interested who PCs him heavily. Anyways, Mookie Betts will be a fun chase for this product and those will be given away in that live stream as well on Thursday. At number three, we have 2013 Tops Update with Nolan Arenado, Manny Machado, Christian Yelich, Anthony Rendon, and Garrett Cole. This Manny Machado does not have a rookie logo, but it's technically a rookie card just because it's his rookie year in the set. I can see the argument against it, but I thought it would only be fair from including rookie debuts to include this card as well. This makes this 207 total war between all these players, which is third on the list. There are five top three MVP appearances and only one MVP. You would guess was one of these two. It's actually Christian Yelich when he had that great run in 2018, 2019. The MVP rank is third. Set potential I have is fifth, just because it is basically a one-man show with Arenado at this point in my eyes. I know the Machado is a rookie card technically. It's not as sought after as his other rookie card. So for that reason, I have it as number five on set potential. And we are also opening up a hobby box of this set, 2013 Tops Update, on my Whatnot stream on Thursday, so make sure you join that. All right, and at number two, we have 2008 Tops Update with Clayton Kershaw, Max Scherzer, Joey Votto, Evan Longoria, and Carlos Gonzalez. So that's 294 total war, which is crazy. Think about that, 294 war. That's way higher than even another set you're gonna see at number one. There are only five top three MVP appearances, one by Kershaw, three by Votto, and one by Carlos Gonzalez when he went berserk one year in Colorado. Love Cargo, he's awesome, and his cards are super cheap. Not a Hall of Famer or anything, but a great Rocky favorite. And if you can't tell, I kind of enjoy the Rockies. So on top of that, MVP rank, that's second on the list, and set potential, I think, is number two on this list. And we are opening up a Heritage and Update Hobby Box. This is actually a six-card pack with four Heritage high number cards, which have Clayton Kershaw, Matt Scherzer, Joey Votto, Evan Longoria, Jay Bruce, all these same players, plus Tops Update. You have four Heritage, two Tops Update in these packs, 24 of those. So hopefully we can even get a Clayton Kershaw real one autograph. It's one of his very best rookie autos from his rookie year. So we'll see if we can get one of those for you guys. And then at number one, we have 2011 Tops Update. No surprise. Is there any doubt about this set being just so strong? It is the set that made modern sets what modern sets are today. And say that 10 times fast. But Total War is 255. Mike Trout has about 83 of those. Goldschmidt has about 58 of those. And then that's a huge number, but those numbers are gonna keep going up over the next few years. War Warrength is second only behind 2008 Tops Update. MVP top three appearances. Again, this is number two with five appearances. Mike Trout alone has six top three MVP appearances. Paul Goldschmidt has four himself, which is hard to believe. And Jose Altuve, I believe, has two. So between those three, you have 12 appearances. This is number one for MVP rank for that purpose. And set potential, this set is going to be chased for years and years and years. People are always going to look through bargain bins everywhere they go looking for 2011 tops update, and sometimes they will find it. But that brings us to the last box we're going to be opening, and it's going to be a Bowman Platinum box from 2010. So you might feel cheated. It's not Topps Update, but I don't have a $6,000 budget for this. But uh, Bowman Platinum is a great set because you still have Mike Trout, you still have Paul Goldschmidt, you have Freddie Freeman, and you have JD Martinez. All these great players that you're seeing are on this list. And the coolest part about this is we have a legitimate chance of pulling a Mike Trout prospect autograph because he has live autographs in this box. Same with Paul Goldschmidt. Freddie Freeman has a redemption, which will suck if we pull it, but Mike Trout and Paul Goldschmidt have live autographs. So this Thursday, again, please join me because I want to pull that for one of you. I would love nothing more than pulling a Mike Trout autograph for you. That'd be so fun. But other than that, that is it for this video. Again, sign up with my link below if you are going to join just so that way we can get the referral money for Christmas cards for kids. That's the end game as well as helping you with these free packs. We want to get that money for those kids this Christmas time. I do want to hear your thoughts about what your favorite set is from the last 15 years or so. If it's one of these or something else, please let me know. If you have any debates about my picks, please let me know as well civilly. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And other than that, I will see you in the next video.